Hello, Andrew. You destroyed me, but I've come back to haunt you. Twelve gauge steel slugs, armor piercing. Uh. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I was just um, sitting here, you know, waiting and all that, and and I, I fell asleep. I was thinking about that scene in uh, in John Wick, you know. Uh, the first one? The, no, I think it was the third one. The second one? No, I'm pretty sure. Oh, the one where the dudes wearing the, the full body armor suits come like storming into the Continental. I think that's the third one. I think so, yeah. yeah. He's and got like the 9mm PCC. Yeah, he starts off with the 9mm PCC and he's all ta ta and like it's not doing it. And you know, he does all his gung kung fu, gun fu stuff. You know? You know, when he muzzles, strikes, and he, you know, he shoots people in the face a couple of times, like, like, oh wait, that works. Yeah, that does. Your head is a relatively important body organ, and when you stick your head up in a fight, someone will put a canoe through that bitch, hence why people go tick, 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 tick. And then he goes back to the, the gun room. The one guy gives him that shotgun loaded with yeah. armor piercing bullets or whatever. Armor piercing yeah. shotgun slugs, yeah. you say? Yeah, first of all, if you encountered a bunch of dudes, fully armored, head to toe. You should not be there. It's probably probably a good step option. Step one, stop being there. Step two, shoot faces. Yeah. Right? And in the movie, it turned out to be pistol rated armor, but it's not like you would know that in the real world. No. You know, and it's not like you can go back and get a gun to solve the armor problem. You dance with who you brung. Exactly, so you shoot faces, but, even if you did go back to get a gun to solve the pistol rated armor problem, the last thing you're going to do is get a shotgun. I heard rifles are really right. Uh, they kind of do that already. Really anyway. bad for penetrating armor. Yeah, uh, especially, you know, pistol rated soft, soft armor. armor. Now, we know that pistol rated soft armor stops uh, shotgun slugs and um, double out buck pretty reliably. Not rated for that, right? Yeah. But the armor stops buckshot and one ounce foster slugs like these all day long, every day. You want that cheeseburger to go? It's gone! Of course, yeah. There's a ton of back face deformation. Yeah, the plate we shot looked like a book afterwards. Yeah, the, the plate we're about to shoot, I mean. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. It's my purse! I don't know you! <laughs> no, that's how things work sometimes. We we shoot things in the order we have. We have a high speed. <coughs> We're pretty high speed, if you couldn't already tell. That's how things work sometimes. We have a high speed camera out. We used the high speed camera first because that's the range time we had. And now we're gonna tell you about the things we did that we're about to do that you're about to see because that's how things work. You're grown ups, you can handle that, right? That's a time machine and inside of it, a journey we're about to go on. We're gonna go on a magical scientific journey and we're gonna find out if there's some off the shelf 12 gauge ammunition that'll perforate soft armor like we're wearing. But not, of course, on us, because, you know, safety first. Let's do it! Thanks to our sponsor, Spartan Armor Systems, for making this video possible. Spartan Armor Systems is dedicated to providing the best American-made body armor in the industry for civilians, law enforcement, and the military. You can find out more at SpartanArmorSystems.com. Protect what's yours. Now let's do this! Mr. Spot.
The gel block yeeted this thing back at me. Let's get downrange here. Oh my. So I dare say you would probably not enjoy this experience one little bit. But uh, yeah, that did not go through. There's definitely a big old bullet in there. That's a big one. And you know, I have to say I am a little bit surprised. I kind of expected that a 300 grain pointy chunk of lead moving that fast would, would get the job done. But let's see. Let's see how close it got. Looks like that's probably, yeah, this is the last layer that it penetrated. So one, two, three, four, five. Had five layers left to go. Not bad. That's a, that's pretty impressive. I mean, yeah, a whole bunch of back face deformation. These panels, 3A, the NIJ rating 3A does not contain 12 gauge in any manner. It will stop most 12 gauge, as in it won't poke holes through your squishy bits. That said, I was speaking with Dr. Roberts a couple years ago and he said in all of his experience, he has never once seen a single person killed by a non-perforating injury while wearing soft armor, except for one case that involves some crazy like African big game hunting cartridge. But in all of the, and of course there are obviously many officer involved shootings involving uh, soft armor and uh, 12 gauge. And in all of those cases, the, the person shot survived, at least as far as Dr. Roberts was aware. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I, um, I wouldn't enjoy that, but I think that might be survivable. In any case, it's a whole lot better than a hole passing all the way through your important parts and causing rapid hydraulic failure. What do you guys think? Man, that block is as erect as I am. Stop. My penis can only get so erect. That is beautimous. Look, y'all know I'm not a shotgun fan, but holy Moses. Look how much, like, this is the wad here. You see this? This isn't the bullet. This is the wad or the sabo. This is a part of the projectile. This isn't, let's see. Yeah, big old chunk of plastic. That's the sabo. Another piece. Oh, I'm sure there'll be a peasant to tell me. Wait, peasant, pedant, same thing. Sire, the peasants are revolting. I know. Horrible, aren't they? So there's more Sabo. I'm sure there'll be a pedant along to tell me I'm saying Sabo wrong. But the main track continues all the way through and exits here. I mean, 
that's a gigantic chunk of lead. I didn't really expect it to stop in these blocks. As I've mentioned many times in the past, clear ballistic goo is not necessarily the same. It doesn't produce the same penetration measurement results. Real ballistic gelatin is made out of porcine collagen and produces penetration figures that correlate strongly with real world observed results in humans and porcine tissue. So long as bone isn't involved, real ballistic gelatin provides a more or less accurate picture of how deep you can expect a projectile to go in human or porcine soft tissue. Clear ballistic gel might or might not, but it varies dramatically depending on projectile weight and velocity. I don't think it matters all that much in this case because the penetration measurement is all of it. All of it. It went so freaking deep. These are 16 inch blocks. So, you know, we're over 32 inches. How much? Don't know. Over there that much. I love you. Hey, what's up, party people? Welcome to another episode of Two Dudes Sitting on a Burb. So what did we learn? Well, we learned that when you shoot soft armor with the Sabo slug, it immediately yeets itself like 10 or 15 feet back <laughs> behind where you were shooting. I mean, it seriously was like the poltergeist project to vomit. Plate. <laughs> like this fucker shot off that block and there's some B-roll of it. I'll put it up there. But I was surprised that that, granted, there's so much energy. Oh, yeah. And you know what I mean? That's what 12 gauge is known for is that explosive power. So it definitely had that, but it did not penetrate. We, uh, Went about halfway through this beautiful little book, thanks to Spartan Armor Systems. But we got about five pieces left. It did not penetrate it, but man, oh man, to be on the other side of that. Yeah, that that would absolutely suck. Andrew, would... what do you think? My mind's telling me no, but my body. Hello. My body's telling me yeah. <laughs> Oh, Sorry. that's so awkward. What did we learn? So, this is surprising to me, and I love, I love tests where I'm not really entirely certain what's going to happen. Yep. Um, my guess was that a 300 grain Sabo slug... My guess was that a 300 grain Sabo slug would have the best chance, at least, yeah. of defeating soft armor of anything else off the shelf. At least that was the first thing that came to my mind. And I was wrong. Ugh, I have Kevlar in my mouth now. Oh. Thanks, Pac-Man. Sorry. <laughs> Will you be my Mrs. Pac-Man? <laughs> no. Oh, that's so awful. That is so, that is so wrong in so many ways. I thought the 300 grain Sabo would have the best chance of getting through for out of anything factory off the shelf anyway. Okay. I'm sure you could do some kind of crazy, you know, if I were to channel my inner Tauflater mouse, maybe like a three and a half inch Magnum with like a Sabo tungsten rod with fins or something. I don't know. I'm sure you could design a load that would perforate soft armor and maybe even get on some rifle armor. Yep. But as far as what's commonly available off the shelf, I don't really think there's a single shotgun load out there that's going to perforate pistol rated armor. If you're better with a shotgun than you are with a rifle, then that's the best tool for you. But that really means do some carbine training. We support your right to choose. What do you guys think? Comment below. Thank you to TNVC for making things possible. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks All to the Spartan Armor Systems. <laughs> Thank you to Spartan for giving us these plays to shoot up. Do all the things that you do to YouTube videos, the, the like buttons and the subscribes and all that. And the doobly-doo. We uh, have definitely been getting schwacked a little bit by the robot overlords, but regardless, got to keep, keep on keeping on, keep doing the things. I love you. Until next time. I love you. I love you. The, the <laughs> best. That dude literally haircut. just uh, flipped a bitch just now. I think he's about to come back and tell us not to sit up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just realized that. Yeah. Well, go meet him. Let's go chat. Come on. Can't avoid it. Come on. All right. Oh. What are you guys up to? I 
thought he was going to yell at us about like trying to shoot over here. I'm like, bro, we're not. You know, it's kind of fitting to get hassled by the man, I guess, when we're trying to do science. Yeah. As scientists have been throughout history, you know what I mean? Persecuted. We're not uh, we're not Galileo's or uh, Da Vinci's, but uh, I feel like we're out here making a difference, doing some important science. Yeah, saving lives. 